I'm showing you about the frog twirler because whenever I take this to places um, people tend to think this is a beater and that's a drum and that sounds really rubbish unless you're very clever at hitting it. The way to play this frog twirler um, to make the best sound apart from twirling it around which I won't do there's another video that shows that is to pull this frog twirler a bit taut and then twist the stick and the reason that works I don't know if you can see but on there there's a bit of resin and this is a nylon string and the sound goes down to the resonator which is the skin and of course the resonator chamber which is the inside of the twirler so you can do some really interesting sounds and you can cover it and then it'll make a lower sound and you might think a two or three year old may not be able to do this and you're right some of them can't but quite a lot of them can and if there's one who can the others will try and do it as well so it's it's a great challenge because some children may not have yet got the coordination to do this but um, they'll try, they'll give it a try and um, they'll get some sort of sound out of it so it's quite a good instrument to put in with all the early years stuff because it's a challenge <laughs>